Have you ever yeah. done with Charlie Bronson? Yeah, I was with Charlie Bronson up in Franklin's prison. I was next door to him in a segregation unit. And I was next door to him in, um, sorry, I was with him in Winston Green. Who was he? Prison. Charlie Bronson, I think, is an absolutely adorable person. Um, he was he was a, always a gentleman to me. He was always extremely kind. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have the best press in the world. Um, but he was always a gentleman to me and uh, a gentleman. And he was, I'll say, he was... To me, I thought it was a bit of a lovable rogue. Yeah, because I think he's... A bit of a rough diamond, yeah, you know? Yeah, he spent over 40 years and he's never did a murder. He's just a constant brand. I think it's the press that maybe keep him in. But I think he's trying to change that now. I think he's got a good team behind him. Because I was speaking to Vic Dart and he says he's, they're trying to get the team behind him where they're not trying to portray that image because all the mm. books and films, it's all violence. They're trying to change that to hopefully get him out. But of career. course, um, Charlie, Charlie's big enough to take this. But um, some of his artwork could be considered homophobic. And um, I think this is why he received his last sentence because um, an art teacher um, called Charlie out on that. Charlie went to the art teacher and said, what do you think of my art? And the teacher, I believe, was gay. Um, wasn't too favourable in his comments to our Charlie and... You know, Charlie kicked off, mm -hmm. and now he's got the sentence he's got now. Um, I don't think Charlie Bronson is homophobic. I think he's provocative, mm -hmm. and um, and of course I wish him well. And um, Charlie, if you if if you've got a mobile phone and you see this, <laughs> send me a visiting order, and I will come up and see you anywhere you are in this country. Yeah. <laughs>